I want to show you something different, not some techniques on the ground, but some stand-up stuff. And I want to show you how you can train your arm drag, um, your basic arm drag drill, in a way you may never have uh, thought about before. So I show you first the typical arm drag drill. I'm sure most of you guys know what I mean. Typical arm drag drill is one is pushing and you go step in. One is pushing and you step in. So that's the typical wrestling drill. You're waiting for the arm, you move in. That's the typical drill. And you see me doing this, I show you slow. When he's pushing me, I'm going one step in. Other arm, one step in. When you see me doing that, it's my body is not doing much. My body is standing still and my arms are doing the whole work. So um, pretty much I try to make things work by just using the arms, not using my body. And I think that is a big mistake if you want to be efficient. So I want to show you what you can do first step to get a better feeling and a better um, coordination and structure for your arm drag drill. So when he is pushing me, I do nothing, just push, I do nothing but move my body. He's pushing me, I move my shoulder. He's pushing me, I move my shoulder. He's pushing, shoulder. He's going across, for example, across, moving my shoulder, moving my shoulder. He's going straight, I'm moving this way. He's going straight, I move this way, I move this way. So basically, there are three options your body can do when you're doing the arm drag drill. So instead of standing still, he is pushing and you're going this way. The first thing you can do is you can wait. Use this one. You can wait for contact. When contact is made and he's pushing, see what your body is doing. How you can let the force go by and go back in your position. So he's pushing with this arm. You're moving and you're straight. Other arm moving straight. So you, you look for the response of your body. Instead of just going for the arm drag, you see what your body is doing and how you can deal with the force that comes in. That is one idea. The next idea is you can just feel the distance. You see, he's pushing me and you just move away. Not in a way like, you know, that's not connection, but you look for coming and, and moving. He comes and moves. That's the second way. The third way is you can duck. So he's pushing, you duck. He's pushing, duck. So that's a, just three possibilities your body, and that's important, your body can do without using your arms. You know, I don't suggest that you always should move like that, but you can combine the body motion with the arm motion. In other words, if he's pushing, you can move your body. If he's pushing, you can move your body. This is the same arm drag I used before, but in this I'm not using only arms, but when you see me doing this, I'm using the whole body. You see, other side. If he's pushing, I'm using the whole body. That means if he's pushing me, boom, I'm moving. He's pushing, I'm moving. Later, I just can combine these different moves. That means when he's pushing me, I'm not just waiting for the arm drag and making it an arm drag drill, but he's pushing me and I'm working for the arm drag. He's pushing, I work just faster, you know? He's pushing, I go for the arm drag. He's pushing, I go for the arm drag. He's pushing, I back arm drag, go to the back. He's pushing, I go arm drag here. He's pushing, I go to the back here. So what you can learn from this is using your body as a as a tool for feeling what's, what's going around you, you know? So it's not just the arm doing all the work, but the body is doing the work. The body is the, the element of control, and the arms and the legs are controlled from the body. In other words, you don't want to be stiff and do it this way, you know? Only arms. It's, this is the wrong way. The right way is body first. Body moves and the arm comes in. Body moves and the arm comes in. He pushes me. It starts here. It's not starting here. Arm drag. It's here. Body moves 
and I can do something, you know? Always body first, because if the body, if he's slowly, if he's moving and my body moves, you see, I'm in the right position. One more time. My body moves instead of my arm moves. And now I need strength and something to do this, but you need to coordinate movements from the middle of your body instead of from the end of your body, from your arms or your legs. That's not the typical jiu-jitsu stuff I usually, usually teach, but I tell me this is really important stuff. It can help your game on the ground and standing up with many moves. The arm drag is just one example of how to use the body. I hope you like it. Like I said, a little bit different, but that's my personal way of doing jiu-jitsu. So I uh, hope you like it and see you uh, next time.